Welcome Scorpio. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach. I help sensitive, self-reflective souls choose maximum growth. I have a divinely guided spiritual message for you today. And I'm using a brand new spread. I have not tried this out on any clients. I have not tried it out on myself. So this is the first time I'm reading for a Scorpio, this spread. We are going to be looking at the inner world this week, your inner world and tensions or the relationship between that world and the outer world. We'll also draw an advice card at the end or an overall message card. So let's get started. Scorpio chariot on the outside, eight of cups on the inside, prince of swords on the inside. Whoa, going to meet that eight of cups and Prince of Wands. <laughs> so Scorpio, you are going someplace this week. We have so many action and movement cards. The Chariot, Two Princes, there is definite action going on. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm not even sure where to start with these because the, this is very explosive, fast moving energy. We're going to start on the inside. I just got the signal. <laughs> So, Prince of Swords and Eight of Cups coming to meet each other. This is about the emotional world and your world of truth or your world of thoughts, the words, the, the way you speak to yourself. This is about those two coming to meet and coming into... Um, yeah, they just can't wait to meet each other. You see how they're, these two figures are just coming together. So this is about getting your mind and your emotions on the same page. This is also a signal for tapping into intuition because intuition is that alignment between the heart and the mind, between your lower self and your higher self. So intuition is definitely key this week, especially when things are going to be moving as fast as they're moving. The journey starts with the emotions for you, coming up from the depths and understanding where your next step needs to be, where your next healing is. So Scorpio, you leave behind the things that no longer are you anymore. You leave behind emotional turmoils, emotional entanglements that don't work and you get yourself up to higher ground. And this process is very much about healing. And you see this awakening of truth, this light blue turquoisey color that is so prevalent in this card. So already is the whisper of truth, but it's almost as if you can't verbalize what's happening to you when we're in this, when we start the journey in this eight of wands, I mean, sorry, eight of cups state that you're sensing the direction you need to go. You're feeling the direction you need to go. You feel the direction that brings you the most healing, that brings you to that place of higher ground, of safety, of dry ground. You feel yourself getting there, but you can't really say what it is that you need to do, or you can't really describe what's happening. You just kind of get yourself there. And once you get yourself to that dry ground to the top, you have this Knight of Swords running to meet you. And this Knight of Swords is directed action. So he can't wait <laughs> to come to you and to learn what you've learned emotionally. And he helps you, this energy, this Knight of Swords energy helps you verbalize exactly where you're going now. He helps you verbalize your new direction because you knew what you had to get away from, but you're not really sure where you need to go to. This Knight of Swords helps you sort that out. But what he helps do, he doesn't tell you what he needs to do. He is an energy that is receptive. There, hmm, oh, this is so hard to describe to you. It's almost as if these are the same, they're different aspects of the same energy. That's maybe a better way to put it. One has echoes of the other. You know, I talked about the um, turquoise color in here foreshadowing the bright sky of this card. And you probably can't see it on the camera, but his eyes are the same blue as the sky. So seeing with that clarity and truth. 
So your emotional world is one journey and then it comes up into your mind where you're able to articulate and really say where you've come from and because of that you know exactly where you're going and this Prince of Swords helps you direct that action, direct that motion. And be very clear, he helps give you that clarity about where you're going. You know, sometimes in that emotional world, things can be a little bit swampy, a little bit flowy because the water touches everything. Um, it's hard to discern. So what just popped into my mind is, you know, when you put your head under water and suddenly everything sounds different, whereas when you have your head out of water that the sound is sharper and you can maybe tell where things are, underwater it's totally different sound. So it's the same reality, but one allows you a little bit more clarity. That's what he does for you. Okay, let's go now to your outside world. Support, support, support. <laughs> That's all we get in this outside world. We have this energy of the Prince of Wands, and although he's not as mature, perhaps, or not as... <laughs> It's not that he's not as smart, but he doesn't have the mental acuity that this Knight of Swords does. He doesn't have the mental sharpness. He just, he gets by on the pureness of his heart. He doesn't get by on, on the, um, you know, being very quick up here. Anyway, he's supporting this whole journey. He's helping to push this energy along. This is an energy that is optimistic, that is positive, Again, it's supportive. It may be coming through as a masculine energy, so a male um, or, a, again, a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be. It could also be that Sagittarius energy that loves to move forward, but it is an optimistic energy. And it really helps when we have the fire coming behind the air. It helps to heat up the air and get it moving. So it really helps you come to this place of clarity. And on the other side, we have the chariot. And so you understand that from the universe, your journey is being accelerated. This coming to a place of mental clarity about what has been happening to you and where you're going now, this is also pushed by the universe. So this is not a week of wallowing, Scorpio. This is not a week of getting lost in other spaces. This is a week where you're being asked supported and pushed to move fast okay so coming out it's almost like it, it, evolution you know you think of how we all started in the sea and then we came out onto land so you're coming out of the sea onto land this week from the sea onto land the quicker you make this happen the more you're going to be aligned with the energy that's around you from the universe and from from your environment no dragging your feet this week, Scorpio. Okay, let's look at your overall message. New beginning. Ace of Wands and the sun rather than all the moon. So once you've reached this place of clarity and this knowing where you can articulate where you're going and what you're doing, then we have the earth shifting aside, two things cleaving to release this new direction forward. And this is the moment where you know that you know what action you need to take. This is that spark of inspiration that drives you forward to taking that first step. But more than that, it's as if your heart is reignited with that passion that you wanted, that you've been so wanting to feel, but you've been lost in this emotional world of trying to gain clarity. Once you have that clarity, that air breathes life into this fire and that fire becomes a flame, that little spark becomes a flame and your passion and zest and direction for life is now galvanized and moving forward. So awesome reading, Scorpio. Thanks again for sharing your time and your energy with me. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are a frequent watcher, frequent watcher, viewer of these videos, please let me know how this new spread was. Even if you're not, please let me know how this new spread was. 
If you're curious about who I am and what I do, there's more information in the description below. There are also some links you can check out. So I will look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great week, Scorpio.